What's going on everybody? Ryan Melnick back here with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing and going over another product research tool. This one is called DropPoint. Now, DropPoint is not a uh, very, I would say, well-known product research tool. It's actually one that uh, was brought to my attention, uh, not one like AdSpy or like uh, Sell the Trend or something like that. Um, you know, Sell the Trend is one I did a review on just a few videos ago, and uh, turns out it's actually pretty popular uh, in the Shopify dropshipping community. And so, uh, a lot of different product research we, tools we have, but as you guys know, I absolutely love the product research tools that give us Facebook ads. Now, I'm not saying that you know other product research tools aren't as good because they don't have Facebook ads, or there's not other ways we can do product research through Amazon, you know, through AliExpress, through Thieve, through uh, Kickstarter, through all these different things, you know, these different ways of doing product research. I'm not saying that, but the great part about having a tool that can give you Facebook ads is that. Um, you're seeing what's selling in the market right then and there. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of rev review on this, kind of take you through what it looks like uh, with Drop Point here. So, uh, Drop Point, pretty solid uh, product research tool because what it does is it gives us Facebook ads that are working, right? And so, uh, not necessarily that are working, but just are fairly new, right? And so it kind of lets us filter through some Facebook ads here and uh, find the uh, products that we want to run, okay? So we could do a keyword search, we can do page name searches, probably mo most, the majority of what we would be doing is keyword searching. And, uh, you know, just kind of uh, searching via, uh, this is interesting, do ratios, I haven't seen that before on a product research tool before, like low views with high shares, that means, you know, maybe uh, people haven't spent quite uh, a lot of, um, quite as much money as you would have thought but they've actually gotten a lot of a return on the shares because shares are the most valuable thing you can get. Um, same thing, with the, this is really interesting. They have some different things there. You can search by buttons, which is pretty common within a product research tool. Uh, post type, last seen, and you can kind of manage it on how many comments you want, stuff like that. So let's just start off with something simple. I'm just gonna start with the get yours here. Uh, you guys know I love to do just typical stuff and just see what we get, just to get a feel for it, right? So let's do a ad scene, ad scene this week. Okay, let's see if they have, they have a created, last scene, last added. Right, they don't have a created win and that's interesting to me. So that's, for me, that's, you know, obviously most shared, that's supposed to be shared, um, most viewed. Viewed is what it is. Um, that for me is a negative because I love to see ads. I love to see ads and filter them based on when they were created. Because if we can find an ad that was created two weeks ago that has a lot of shares, that means that it is very, uh, it probably has very little competition. And if it's doing well, that we could potentially run that. It could potentially be a winning product for us. Okay, that may not be an issue here, but I do like to have the ability to do that. If we're just looking at the most shared ads, most shared ads uh, in the, um, let's see. The ones with get yours here that have a ton of shares or comments or likes, we may not be able to uh, actually siphon it down to the ones that are doing well as of recent that were just posted, right? So we'll just start with this. We're gonna do get yours here. Yeah, we'll do um, seen this week. So, or yeah, seen this week. So it, they're still running probably, most likely, right? And we're gonna do, um, we'll just do most shares. We'll do uh, shop now. No, you don't have to do that. You probably get. All right. So, so I'm just writing a review on this as I'm going through. These are like my initial thoughts almost because I haven't gone through this product research tool yet and kind of evaluated it too much. Um, when you click filter, it says install an extension. So you have to go to your Google Chrome extension store here and install an extension. I don't think there's any problems with us, with, with us doing that. Um, it doesn't really have any, I guess, risk to it necessarily. Um, I mean, I guess you could argue that if you know more technically about what we're talking about, but it is what it is. Uh, it says refresh the setup. So after you download the Chrome extension, you have to refresh. So I'm refreshing here. Should be able to filter. So we did, do, do, do. Gonna do that again, get yours here. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it worldwide. Let's do, let's do videos only. I like videos. Three times more engaging, statistically proven. 
Okay, we're gonna do most shares and get yours with videos. Okay, let's check this out. All right, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, three months ago, two months ago, two months ago, six days ago. Okay, interesting. It's a flashlight. It's a super duper flashlight. Now, one thing I would recommend, recommended, one thing I would recommend is going and checking it out simply because just because it says two weeks on here does not mean that it's propagating properly. We want to make sure it actually was two weeks ago. It could say two weeks, but it was last seen actually, was it, was it last seen? Yeah, last seen six days ago. It could actually be last seen 12 days ago. If it's not propagating properly, we want to make sure we look in the Facebook to see when it was actually posted um, just so that we can kind of double down on what we're looking at here. Sorry guys, my uh, my uh, my computer is somewhat of a slow loader. Okay, so 20,000 lumens tactical flashlight. It's a big tactical flashlight, it's a pretty good video there. Let's take a gander here. 133,000 likes, uh, that's a lot. So 10 million views. Uh, so I, I don't want to say that this is saturated, obviously, because you know you don't know that necessarily. It could have a massive market cap, but this video is probably somewhat saturated where you might have to go and create um, a new video because guys, saturation is real, yes, but it's really more in the form of content saturation more so than product saturation. There's a comment two minutes ago. There was one four hours ago. They are still running this piece of content. They're still running this ad. Um, and so that tells us a little bit about how much success they're having. That being said, 10 million views is quite a lot. Probably want to, I mean, it's a good, it's a good sign. I'm not saying it's a bad sign. It's definitely a good sign, but, um, you know, it's, it's always nice to find those products that are, that are working well early on, um, and don't have like a crazy amount. So I would probably be sifting down here to the bottom. These are all like massive ads. You've got like 2 million, 3 million. I mean, yeah, it's good that these all have like like massive okay so here's a way to go about it instead of just going all these these massive ones which is good you, you could run this stuff and to be honest with you if you guys ran through these ads and tested these these products if you went through 20 of these you're gonna find a winner like I just will I will say that like um, that will probably happen and if you run through 10 of them you're gonna find consistent sales and probably one or two of them like it's probably just gonna happen um, so, I mean, it's very possible. There's a lot of products in here, guys. Like, man, there's the projector. Again. So, guys, this is a great way. There it is again. There's a lot. This is a great way to, uh, to find some really good uh, winning products with winning content. So, uh, really, really solid tool here. There are lots of ads. Like, look at this, guys. This is crazy. So, oh, because I did ad scene anytime. Ad scene this last week. Um, I thought I did that. Maybe not. Most shared, and I put get yours here. Now, I just want to do one more thing, um, just to go through a little bit more, is I want to do, let's do minimum shares. Let's say it needs to have at least 100 shares. Yeah. Uh, let's do maximum. Let's max out at 500 shares. And let's do last scene. So that way, you've got one to 500 shares and you've got last scene. Let's do last added. Maybe that's a little bit closer to uh, created, right? So last scene two hours ago. So these are a little bit better. We're still at a high, high end of shares and views at 1.1 million. Uh, views is quite a lot but guys I actually like this tool I haven't looked too far into um, into this but it's a this is a this is a nice looking tool I I'm a fan I gotta tell you I'm a, I'm a fan um, I don't know what it is guys a lot of the other tools I've looked at um, ad spy you know sell the trend um, ad sector uh, what's the other one there's another one big spy big big I don't remember uh, there's a lot out there but We'll say like this one's got a for the for the value. I think it's like I don't know. I got I'd have to look. I, I want to say it's like ten bucks or five bucks a month or something. Um, I'll put that in the description below, guys, with the uh, link to go uh, to go sign up for Drop Point as well. Um, I don't have an affiliate link or anything, 
I probably will sign up for their affiliate program, but I don't have an affiliate link or anything. This is just more of a review um, thing to show you guys and kind of get myself familiar with it. I actually am a pretty big fan here. You notice ads seen in the past week between 100 and 500 shares with Get Yours here. There's only like 80, but if you think about it, that's a lot <laughs> comparison to because I, I said one to 500 shares, Get Yours here. Let's take out Get Yours here. Um, and I think it's Shop Now too. Yeah, and shop now. That's a lot of ads still with me, you know, narrowing it down the way I did. Guys, there are probably hundreds, it looks like, if not thousands of ads if you take out gears here. Um, and you just look and this is a lot of really good content, a lot of good, really good products here. I, I'm a fan of this one, especially as it relates to the value, because I want to say it was like 10 bucks or five bucks. Um, and I know that there, I'm pretty sure at least there was at one point a free version of this. Guys, click the link in the description to get this. This is one of my favorite ones because of the value of it. There's a lot of good winning products in here. This is crazy, the amount of content that's on here. It's kind of blowing my mind right now. Because a lot of these tools that provide this sort of value with this many ads, I mean, they're hundreds of dollars, guys. Um, I would recommend getting this for sure, trying it out for free. Um, I believe it's. I believe they have a, uh, a free, uh, free version. But I'll have to let you guys know in the description below. So click the link, go check it out. Um, as for my rating for this, we're on the AliExpress portion of it, which we'll look at a little bit. You guys know I'm more so about the Facebook stuff, but uh, my rating on this, just based on the value, uh, you guys know I, I love Ad Sector. Um, Got to do a new video on Ad Sector talking about it. Um, they're updating some stuff, but that's one of my favorite tools, premium tool for sure. 175 bucks with my code for that one. Um, that's a bigger tool, uh, but that that tool is probably in the nine-ish range for me, and I'm going to do a, another kind of video rating that, but uh, sell the trend. Uh, I rated, did a review video for and rated that. I believe I rated that an eight and a half just because it was very dynamic, but it was like 40 or 50 bucks a month. And um, I don't know. I, I, I like to dig into the Facebook stuff. So this is more of a preferential thing. I'm not saying this is better or worse. Uh, just for me, I love the Facebook side of things. And this is really interesting as well. There's some really cool products on here. Um, I, I like AliExpress. And I like looking at AliExpress, but there's just I don't know, to have it all in one place, there's definitely a ton of value in that. And so guys, this is a really interesting product research tool. I would definitely go check it out, especially at the low price that it is, um, because I'm pretty sure it's just a few bucks. I'll put that in the description. I'm not sure exactly, guys. Sorry, I apologize. Ill-prepared for this video somewhat as it relates to the cost, but uh, great value here. And as long as it's below that $20 mark a month, which I think it's more like 10, I think there's a free version. I don't know if they still have that, but they had at one point um, when I had initially heard about it. They had a free version, and uh, so it's really interesting. I, I would rate this probably a nine. I would rate this a nine, a nine out of ten. The reason I'm rating this a nine out of ten is because the the plethora of Facebook ads they have loaded in here. They must be in the back end of Facebook's API or something. And so, gotta love that, guys. Absolutely love that. Um, winning advertisement. Oh, there's a there's another thing. Oh, that's live. Okay, winning average. Okay, so maybe these aren't live, but discovering. Interesting. So these are like the most recently discovered. Okay. Like I said, guys, I haven't really dove into this stuff uh, to this product research tool yet. Um, just was, was heard about it and had never really gotten into it. Just recently signed up for it. And so that's why I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a review. But this is a really interesting tool here as it comes to this left side here where winning advertisement is. This looks like the most recent products were updated, um, like we're seeing and updated here. So that's super interesting. Uh, yeah, and some that aren't necessarily winning anymore. Okay, wait, this is big. I was going to jump off this big, guys. So let's, September, October. Okay, so it's October now. Let's look into September, 2019 winning ads in September. Okay, so these ads were, from what I can tell, created in September, which was a month ago, if not a few days ago, okay? Let's make sure that this is right. Okay, November 2019 has not come yet, so that makes sense. October 2019 makes sense because these are the ones that are uh, most updated most recently. We don't want massive tank. We're not doing the massive tanks, and the we're not doing this stuff and scamming people, but some definitely some good winning products in here that we could definitely run. 
This is super interesting, guys. I would definitely come check this out, Drop Point, uh, droppoint.site. I will put the description, the link in the description below, guys. This is gonna give you a nice, solid nine out of 10 here for Drop Point because of the value, because of the functionality of the tool. It's very simple, very straight to the point, and I actually, straight to the Drop Point, I actually really like this tool. I would definitely go check it out, one that I would definitely recommend, guys. So uh, definitely come check out Drop Point. Check out the uh, link in the description here. I'll put it there for you guys. Review, nine out of 10 for drop point. Solid tool, really like it. Definitely gonna be checking this out more and looking a little bit more through it. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed my review of drop point uh, going through this product research tool. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, make sure you click the link in the description below to get it, because I believe they have a free version, but you gotta have to check for yourself. So click that link, go check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.